And there's one more cloth brush. It's going to be a BSO smooth cloth. And what that's going to do, if we go back to our plane test here, I'm going to hold down shift and I'm just going to change this back to regular old smooth so I can demonstrate this. So we have a plane here and we've got it's all moved around and it's like, okay, now I want to start smoothing the edges of this plane. And you know, let's go down here so there's a level one and we'll turn smooth it down to zero. So I'm going to go through here and I'm going to smooth, but when I get to the border edges, I cannot smooth or change uh, these border edges. It's just not doing anything. If you want to change that, there's a lot of cool options in here. Actually, if you go down here, uh, you hold down shift and under the smooth brush, you have to hold down shift to be in the smooth brush. If you don't, it's going to change the smooth brush modifiers for move, which doesn't make any sense, but hold down shift to make sure you're in the smooth brush and you're going to see in here, there's a min connected set to three. If you set that to one, now when I go through here and smooth, it'll start smoothing that border edge. Essentially, that's what that cloth smooth brush is doing. Uh, another thing I like to do in here is weighted smooth mode set to one. Uh, if you want more smooth brush options, hit the comma key, go in here to brush and there's a whole folder full of cool smooth brush options that are basically going through here and changing these parameters in order to achieve uh, you know those different effects that those smooth brushes have. Uh, but at the end of the day, hold down shift, min connected to one is the exact same thing as B S O, which is your smooth cloth brush. So now when you have smooth cloth brush, you can go through here and smooth this and smooth edges of your brush or of the mesh.